One of the most common questions we get at the beginning of the school year is how to update that distribution list or distribution group you've been using all along. We want to make sure we can remove the people who are no longer on our campus and add the new employees. So there are a couple of different options when it comes to sending emails to a large group of people. The one that's been around the longest is called a distribution group. It was formerly called a distribution list. And that's probably what most of our campuses are using. Some campuses are using the newer groups. If you're using a group that appears here in the list of groups in your Office 365 account, to edit a group, you just simply click on the name of it. And if you have owner abilities, you can remove members and add members by simply clicking on the dot, dot, dot next to a name and selecting remove or clicking the add members button. Since most of our schools are still using distribution groups, I want to show you how to get to that because it's a little more hidden and it has changed its location a couple of times. So to get there, you're going to click on the cog in the upper right hand corner of your Office 365 inbox page. You cannot do this from Outlook. You need to be online. So click the cog. Go down to where it says my app settings and you're going to click mail. On the left hand side, it used to be under a section called other, but it's now been moved into the general category. So if it's not already expanded out, click the word general to expand it and then select distribution groups. When you do that, you're going to see the groups you belong to in the left and the groups you own on the right. You're only going to be able to edit the groups you own. To edit a group, you double click on the name of the group. Then you can make any changes that are necessary. You can update the notes about the group. You can click into ownership and add or remove owners using the plus or the minus. You can click into membership. And if you need to add someone, go ahead and click the plus. It will open a new window of all the contacts that are available. So to find someone, you're going to click into the search field, type the name, I hit enter or you could click the magnifying glass to search. When you find the person you want to add, you just simply click the plus symbol. You'll notice that their name goes here and it allows you to search for someone else. So I found someone else that needs to go in the group and I've added them. Once I've selected all the people I need to add, I click save and those people will be added to our group. If there's someone from the group that needs to be removed, you simply select their name and click the minus and that will remove them from the group. There's some other options as well. If you want to look through those, that's fine. But for the most part, you're going to update ownership and membership and then click save. Once you've done that, your distribution group has been updated to include or no longer include those people. We highly recommend that every distribution group have multiple owners. This is going to help you for those situations where there's one owner and they leave the district and now no one has the ability to edit that group. If you happen to have groups on your campus that no longer have an owner, you can contact the network administrators and ask them to add you as an owner. But please be sure you know the exact name of the group, the exact email address associated with it, and let them know who needs to be added as an owner.